Hello all. This follow-up video has come a lot quicker than I originally anticipated. Things went a lot more smoothly than I thought, and I'm able to share this now. In my previous video, we looked at the prospect of water flow detection using an ESP32 CAM module and home water meter. I started with the motivation behind why would we would want to monitor water flow this way mostly as an inexpensive, non-invasive method to determine if you've got a burst water pipe or other bad water leak in your home while you're away. Your old analog residential water meter is a great flow meter you already have in your home, and the ESP32 camera module seemed like a good choice for simple computer vision to monitor the movement of the needle on the meter dial. Next, for development purposes, we looked at an image capture setup using the ESP32 CAM module connected to a PC through a serial interface, along with a set of Python scripts to trigger image captures, serial transfer of image data, and dumping it all to files. The objective of all that was to get a set of good test images that we could use to develop an image processing algorithm to detect the needle on the water meter and also monitor its motion. That's where this video continues. First, looking at the water meter itself, the big red needle is what indicates the flow of water. One full rotation of the needle corresponds to some unit of water being consumed. It seems pretty logical to isolate the red pixels making up that needle and monitor it for motion to detect water flow. Now, it's true that I'm developing a solution that will work for my particular water meter, but other analog meters will be similar, and since this is a custom job anyway, we might as well take advantage of being able to control as many conditions as possible to make life easier. In order to isolate the red color components, we'll need to convert the RGB pixel data that we capture from the camera into um, an HSV color space. That'll make it much easier to select specific colors. HSV stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. By thresholding on some combination of these components, we should be able to isolate the red pixels of the needle. I wrote some Python code to take those test images we grabbed from the ESP32 camera last time and prototype an algorithm. It's straightforward to do the RGB to HSV conversion. Then through some analysis, and trial and error, I came up with a set of HSV threshold values that do a good job of finding those red pixels while trying to minimize erroneously selected pixels. It turns out to be pretty difficult to completely isolate the needle, and we do pick up some dirty pixels along with pixels correspond, uh, corresponding to another small red feature that's also on the meter. In order to get some sort of representation of the needle's uh, orientation, we need some method of accurately isolating the needle itself from the thresholded image. That's where the old uh, Huff transform for lines comes in. That is a computer vision algorithm that we can use to identify dominant lines in an image. Usually we would apply a Huff transform after an edge det detection step, but in this case I think our thresholded image is fine. The main idea behind the Huff transform is that for every edge pixels, or uh, thresholded pixel in our case, we look at every possible line that can go through it. For a Huff transform, that line is represented in polar coordinates with a magnitude or radius rho and angle theta. And so for every pixels, we sweep through every angle and find the corresponding rho. Furthermore, we have a two-dimensional uh, accumulator array whose corresponding row theta entry gets incremented. It's sort of like a scoreboard. At the end of processing all those pixels, the lines represented in the accumulator with the highest scores are the most dominant. In our case, we select the single line with the greatest score which should represent the needle. The Huff transform is great because it performs well even in imperfect or noisy images. You can see the results of processing our test images with the HSV thresholding and Huff transform roll theta output. It's clearly detecting changes for each different needle position. Right now, we're just going through all the collected test images and viewing the segmented 
images based on the HSV thresholds and the output from the Huff transform and selection of the most dominant line, which should be the needle in all cases. And you can see it's doing uh, quite a good job. As you see the original image and the uh, threshold of image beside it, uh, along with the row and theta that is changing for each different uh, position um, of the needle. Right, and so we can be pretty confident uh, that this is going to work out pretty well. Which brings us back to our ESP32 camera module. I took that prototype code written in Python that we were just looking at and transcribed it to C code in the Arduino IDE. Here you can see the Arduino IDE serial monitor output along with the test setup where the ESP32 camera is pointing at the meter. I also have a light source to illuminate the meter face. Now I did need to make some compromises in the code, in particular for the accumulator. It turns out that the ESP32 module ran out of memory for the, to to the, uh, for the 2D array. Um, so I cut its size in half by reducing the resolution of the angles. So instead of an entry for every degree, there's an entry for every two degrees. I think that's just fine for our purposes. I'll share this code in the description uh, so you can try it for yourself. Um, I'm hard coding everything for 96 by 96 resolution, um, as I mentioned in my uh, previous video, um, which again should be fine for this application. The code outputs the line of interest uh, corresponding to what should be the line formed by the meter needle represented in the Huff transform space. Uh, it also compares the most recent theta against the previous one and reports uh, detected flow if the magnitude of the difference is greater um, than some threshold. Otherwise, it reports that no flow is detected. Now, I did find that I needed to play around with the threshold slightly to try and get uh, better results. Uh, but even then, it wasn't perfect. Uh, I, I do get some false flow detects, uh, even when the needle isn't moving. But this usually corrects itself in the subsequent readings. We could write some additional logic that will report flow is detected only after it's been confirmed for several readings or is consistent over some period of time. Uh, you can see in the side-by-side -side with the meter um, that it does a pretty good job of detecting needle rotation. Aside from some tweaks in the detection algorithm, there's lots left to do in order to make this a finished product, really. The main thing is we need some way of letting the ESP32 module send us a notification when water is flowing um, outside of our expectations, like when we're out of the house, etc. Uh, and ideally, we would put the camera module in a proper enclosure that can be mounted uh, appropriately. And we definitely need some sort of integrated light source to illuminate the meter face. I may do that in a future video, but I think for now I've hit my objective for demonstrating a practical application uh, for the ESP32 camera board um, and learning a few things along, way, along the way. Uh, that's it from me for now. Um, until next time, keep tinkering.